Hi friends, good morning from Glasgow. We arrived in Scotland last night after midnight and we pretty much like just ate a little bit and went right to bed. So it is the next morning and we are in our Airbnb and I wanna show it to you guys because it's really cool and I think you'll like it. So let's check it out. All right, this is the front door. I love the glass here, the stained glass. But once you're in the front door, this is sort of, I don't know if you would call this the foyer, but there's a nice big couch, a place for shoes and jackets, and very nice welcoming. Some stairs, and that takes you up to the bedrooms, but I'm gonna show you this floor first. So this is the living room space. They have up there Christmas decorations. Actually, this morning I came down and I put presents under the tree that I brought. Um, these pillows are very cute. When Andre saw this, it says, say yes to new adventures. He said, those pillows are me. <laughs> um, there's a TV, they have a ton of books, board games. I don't know if any of you are into board games, <laughs> but this is sort of the living room seating area. These big comfy couches, which we were very thankful to slump onto when we arrived. <laughs> Be nice or leave. <laughs> In this, uh, I don't know, it's like a Victorian townhouse. Um, we're gonna go through here. This is like a visitor's book where everybody is signed and a map of Glasgow. So this place, I'll link it below, um, but it's in the west end of Glasgow. And then we come in here and this is the dining room I have to turn on the lights. Um, but there's a note here that says Please use the coasters and placemats because this table is a 200 year old table. Isn't that neat? Um, nice big clock here. That's not the time. <laughs> it's later than that. They also have a drink share here. So if you buy anything, you can leave it. And then there's other half left bottles. Some artwork on the walls here. I belong to Glasgow. <laughs> but there's so many little fun trinkets in this place. And they put up some decorations for the holidays. This is also a little view out the back here. But nice big dining room. So when we're gonna have family over later this week, we'll be uh, setting setting up in here some food and drinks and stuff. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, gonna shut the light back off. Um, so the other thing about this place, the doors are very, very heavy. They're all f fire doors and all of it's labeled with what it is, but we have the entire building to ourselves. Um, coming through here, nice little bathroom. <laughs> Fans on. Einstein here watching you. <laughs> but pretty typical. I do like how everything's styled though. Like there's all these just like little details in this place. All right, I'm gonna close that, ladies and gents. And then here's the laundry room. So that's helpful. So while we're here, we can do laundry as needed, as well as other cleaning supplies. If we do need that, turn on the light for here. Here's some older photos of Glasgow on the wall. And then radiators on, 
that's what we're using to heat this whole place. It reminds me of being at my grandmother's and I would just lean against this as a kid in the winter. Speaking of, when we woke up this morning, Andre said, oh, it says it's 18 degrees. Let me uh, convert that to Fahrenheit. And then he went, oh, that is Fahrenheit. <laughs> so as my family would like to say, it's Baltic. I got an email from my uncle saying, I hope you arrived. Be careful because it's icy and very, very cold. <laughs> Anywho, this is the dining here where we had some breakfast earlier. Hi again. <laughs> um, and the host, Airbnb host, left quite a bit of goodies for us. So some fresh fruit and We've already gotten into it in the kitchen here, um, but she left us a lovely loaf of bread and this goodie basket here. We've already had the cereal. This was like filled with fresh eggs. We've already had a bunch of eggs. Yeah, lovely loaf of bread and cheese and meats and other goodies all in there. Um, but this is how I know I'm home in Glasgow because we have Iron Brew. If uh, you've ever had Iron Brew, leave a comment below. <laughs> Andre tried it and he said it tastes like Guyanese Cola, which is his family's from Guyana. So there you go. There's also some nice oatmeal here, mulled wine crisps wafer biscuits. Andre was getting into these last night. <laughs> so anyway, oh, little mince pies. <laughs> Anywho, um, but yeah, nice, lovely, big kitchen, well equipped with everything you could possibly need. Look at all this tea selection here too. Look at this. Isn't that insane? Look, amazing. All of that, little jams for our toast, big mugs for our tea or coffee, which is also here. Just um, a really nice, really nice setup. And then here's the backyard which I don't think we'll be hanging out in, <laughs> but it's, it looks nice. I imagine it would be nice to stay here in the summer. All right, I have to shut all these lights off. She also left a bunch of extra blankets while we're down here. This is fun too. Um, just a bunch of this antique furniture, but when we were opening the drawers here just to be nosy, there's a lot of uh, converters that I guess previous people had left behind. If you've, if you're watching from like the States, for instance, um, yeah, you have to use different plugs here, different voltage. So you need a converter and I guess, uh, people left them. Here. Um, and it's funny, there's TVs in quite a few of the spaces, but they're not so prominent that you would feel like that's the focus. Anywho, I'm gonna go upstairs and show you our room. I'm gonna shut the light off here first. All right, up we go. Lovely, nice big staircase here. I'm gonna lower my voice a bit because as I said, my brother, his wife, and my mom are all still getting ready. But as you can see, there's another case that goes up, but we're only renting out this floor, so they have it roped off. But if you even have a bigger family, there's options. So this is our room. Come into the room. Apologize for the mess as we've already settled in. Nice, big, comfortable bed. A 
like I said, there's TVs, but not quite the focus, places to sit. I've took over here. Andre's over here doing some work. <laughs> um, we have a nice like seating area. So sitting here, reading before. We took some of the pillows off the bed. <laughs> but our view is over here to Kelvin Grove, which is a park and there's a river down there. But lovely, nice big windows. And then what else is in here? We have our own bathroom shower. Nice to each room has its own, which is a nice addition. Me again, hi. <laughs> um, and we also have a closet here, which we haven't hung anything up yet, but I did unpack into a set of drawers over here or in here. Um, let me show you one of the other rooms where no one's staying in it, but because it's the smallest room. So this is the room next to us. No one's staying in here because it has the smallest bed, but if you come and you have like, you know, one person, it's a good little room. Look at the cute art. <laughs> and then a view out here. Same view as us to the river. It's cozy though. And then the two other rooms. Um, my brother and his wife are staying in one and my mom's staying in another. And they're a little bit more comparable to our room. So that's it for the house tour. Um, I'm gonna link this Airbnb below. You should definitely check it out if you're ever in Glasgow, especially if you're traveling with a large family because it is a very nice cozy space. The host is very, very nice in terms of like, the place is immaculately clean. The welcome package she left us is just so thoughtful. Um, really, 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 really nice. Um, Cause when I think about when we've, you know, when we're not staying with family here, we've stayed in like a Marriott and stuff and there's just something so much more cozy about this. So anywho, um, it's nice too, because it's in the West end. So it's quite near the city center. There's a subway around the corner. So we just take that and it's like three stops and you're in Georgia square and city center. So, um, yeah, anywho, I'm rambling, but I will link it below and you should check it out if you're ever in Glasgow today. We are taking my father to his final resting spot. Um, it was his final wish to return to Glasgow. So um, yeah, we, the biggest worry we had was, you know, getting his ashes here safely through the airports and security and all of that stuff, you know, usual worries, um, but we got him here safely. So we're gonna say our final goodbyes. So, like I said, I'm not sure I'll be vlogging more today. Um, sorry, just need a minute. <laughs> but yeah, um, I do hope that I can still capture a bit of my trip here in Glasgow for you and the other things that we do see. Um, but I'm just not sure what it will be. <laughs> I also made the decision not to bring my laptop and do editing while I'm here um, and just try to be a little bit more present. So if you're watching this, I'm already back in the States. But um, yeah, thank you so much for all the sweet comments uh, on my previous video mentioning I'm coming. Um, really nice and I always appreciate you guys. So anywho, uh, I'm gonna sign off here, but I will see you guys later. And as I said, the editing, I don't know, this might just be vignettes. It might not be 
as much of a narrative as I normally do. So uh, please be kind and patient. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. We love you, Dad. I can smell a Scottish breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like some? Yes. Okay. I need to pick a frying pan. <laughs> I can make mine after yours. <laughs> What's that? I can make mine after yours. And sauce? No, thank you. Not for me. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It is a new day. I am getting ready to go out. Um, just thought I would share a few thoughts on yesterday, um, which were overall, it went as best as could be expected. Um, you know, my father's, you know, wish was to be returned home here to Glasgow. Um, it's actually in his will, so not only did he tell us, it's actually written in there. 
and I had a lot of anxiety about yesterday because I mean this is for months my father passed in April and you know my brother and my mom were like okay let's go just in May like right after this just go and lay him to rest but I couldn't go because I was having a health crisis like literally I had to see my eye doctor <laughs> at least once a week if not multiple times a week because there was potential that I was losing vision in my right eye so it wasn't a situation where I could travel then and then my brother had to return to Tokyo for work and then he said the next time he could go would be around the holidays so hence why we're here now but I guess I felt guilty and responsible that we had to wait this long to do this so leading up to it I had so much anxiety about like I need to be okay I need to be healthy for this like I can't ruin this for everyone else like all these negative thoughts about that but you know um we got here safely and we didn't have any problems getting dad here either and now he's officially in his final resting spot so we've fulfilled everything he asked of us and that's um comforting in a way um you know and where we laid him to rest the field him and my mom used to live in a house down there um uh, with Shona I think Gordon and I that might have been our first house we were babies um but then you know they would let Shona run around that field and dad would talk about how uh the back door gate would just you'd hear a bang and Shona would like Shona would zoom off and go around around the field and she'd be running so fast that if you weren't paying attention she would come back around and almost knock you on your butt she would just like run behind you and take your knees out <laughs> um but he used to tell that story with you know a big smile on his face and just like I guess looking over that field um you know it's like I could see him and Shona together um that was nice um and then afterwards we went into town and we went to a pub where he used to meet my mom so it's like where the buses would let out um you know, and obviously there were no cell phones back there, so they'd say they were meeting, and then mom would, you know, be perpetually late and miss the bus, so my dad would just go into this pub and have a drink, and then she would join him there uh, when she, whenever she would arrive. Um, so we went there, and we had a, had a pint, um, and then we walked around city center, uh, where I, I mean, I have tons of memories with my dad. I mean, as recent as five years ago, which was the last time we were here um, for Christmas. So, um, you know, I mean, I wrote about this in an Instagram post, but the idea that I wanted more time with him, but when I would say this to him near the end, he would say, Fiona, I lived a good long life. <laughs> you know, my dad's a very practical man. He would just say that he's like, I lived a good long life. Um, and I guess reliving some of those memories yesterday made me understand why he said that. Like, he did have a lot of good memories here and he did have a good life here, um, as well as in America. But I'm happy that we got to uh, return him home. And, you know, now the healing begins. Um, but yes, today. Today is a new day. And... Um, we're going for high tea at the Willow Tea Room, which is, um, it's sort of like a Charles Rennie Macintosh inspired, um, cafe and it's typical high tea. Like you get tea, you get sandwiches and, you know, sweets and baked goods and stuff like that. And then, um, and that's like for lunch and then later for dinner, we're meeting my uncle and aunt um and we're going for a curry so that should be nice um and then i imagine they'll probably come back here after we'll have a few drinks but that is 
the plan. So for now, Andre and I are getting ready and we're gonna go get some coffees and probably have a little wander. Um, I already had my Scottish breakfast mom made. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what today will be. So hopefully you can get some footage for you guys. All right, see you later.
Okay, hi friends. We are back from the Willow Tea Room where we had a nice afternoon tea. As you could see, there was plenty of sandwiches and sweets. What was your favorite? Mm. I mean, I liked the scone with the clotted yeah, cream actually, was really, and jam. I think I agree with that. Yeah, the scones were good. Um, and then mom got me this Charles Rennie Macintosh pocketbook. So for those of you that may not know, he was um, an artist, architect, graphic designer. He went to the Glasgow School of Art and he's probably the most famous artist from Glasgow. Uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But um, he's known for uh, Art Nouveau style. And uh, this is like his abstracted rose. So it's called like the Glasgow Rose. Um, you know, amongst like how the chairs were kind of designed in this fashion. Um, so definitely has some interesting work that became known as Glasgow style. So this was sort of, you know, 1900, basically around that time. Um, and then, he apparently had a show that came from Glasgow and went to like New York and other places in the 1990s, which sort of popularized him globally. Um, but anyway, I've kind of just always known about him because my mom's always been a fan and we have like Glasgow Rose artwork um, like at my parents' house. So anyway, she got me a lovely little book. So I'm gonna read more about him and learn more about him. Um, but yes, Charles Rennie Macintosh, look him up. And then we got something um, for my sister-in-law, the one that's uh, house sitting for us and taking care of our pets. Uh, where is it? Is it over here? Is it? It's on the bed. Be right back. So we wanted to get her something nice as a thank you. So we picked up this um, Macintosh mirror handmade in the borders of Scotland by Winged Heart Stained Glass. And it has the Glasgow rose on it. It's a mirror, so you guys will see yourselves. <laughs> but like sort of that Art Nouveau long skinny style and has the classic rose on it so um, it was funny because when we were in the store and you know they had these on display so we were like oh do you have any of these that we could have and the guy just said it's what's on the shelf so he took it off the shelf and sold us this one and it was the last with the Glasgow rose so I'm glad she gets something that's classically Glasgow from here <laughs> and uh, it's special. So we're gonna get that to her as a gift. But right now we're just gonna chill out and my Aunt Liz and Uncle Alan are gonna come over in probably about two hours and then we're gonna go for a curry. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Go try mine. You want to buy a new one? Alright. It's probably not going to be that bad. I think it might. I think it might. So who's. This is supposed to be hotter than the bomb, right? Supposedly. The last stab. Who's, who all's trying it? Yep. Three guys. The three guys? Only brought oh, two glasses guys. of milk, so. Oh, the fight. <laughs> there we go, I can get the label here. This is what they're about to try. <laughs> Watch it be nothing. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube soon, and I'll be posting this as our next door. Okay. That's it. <laughs> right, we'll oh, the milk the
This is either going to be a really good idea or a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's oh, that's a lot. That's, 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 yeah. That, that, yeah. That was for you. Yeah. Everyone, everyone can do their own dosage. No, no, you can. Oh, pretty. Oh. He's all right. It's getting hot. <laughs> Yeah, I wish you had uh, waited to. Uh... It's all right. It's all right. Just said it was such a big dab. I didn't think it was. What'd you do? You did how much yeah. that? Uh, yeah. That? Yeah. That much? Yeah. <laughs> You've already. Well, just don't touch your eyes after. Certainly don't take your contact lenses out for the same thing. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. Oh! Oh! In the picture. <laughs> it's gonna be about a poker face. Who's <laughs> gonna pay first? So it's not too bad. It's actually not that bad. It's really? Really? Oh, uh, that's disappointing. It's, <laughs> it's, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting hotter. Yeah. Oh, okay. When she swallows. <laughs> Yeah, like my mouth actually is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's getting yeah. warmer. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Is it hotter than your curry you had though? It's hotter yeah. than the curry. It is hotter than the curry. So, yep. it's just, do, it is getting you hotter. <laughs> and cover the cracker in it. Is it tipping my tongue? It's not getting hotter. My whole tongue is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have the milk here. <laughs> uh, doing all right. Yeah, not bad. Still getting hotter. It's getting hotter, so you're saying we should do another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this time you go. Yeah. Ooh, no, it's, 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 like, it's like a slow burn. Like, it, it hurts. The chili I had in that, yeah. that restaurant. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, maybe. It's, like, my tongue hurts. <laughs> it does. How are you doing, Gordon? Yeah, I feel it in the back of my throat, actually. Yeah. It's not as like, immediate as like on the show. It's. It, like it, there's like there's pain in my tongue. <laughs> like, 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 I can feel it. No. <laughs> it feels as if you took you know too much, such that you were able to coat inside of your mouth. It would really be sore. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. My tongue is definitely burning right now. Yeah, it takes it takes a bit. It takes a bit. Like. Well done, guys. Yeah, you guys did good. Yeah. I'll do it alone with you too. What? You're going to do another one? Oh, I'll let you out. Gordon's out. I'm going to have to out. How much? Yeah. Well, you, you still, you survived the hot ones Ooh. challenge. You did it. I'm like sweating now. Like it's coming through. <laughs> Don't touch your eyes. Don't touch I'm your not, face. I'm not. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, now you're going to do more. You're going to need your sweaters. Just this is going to be. Yeah. Get some more. This, this, is, this is going to be a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to regret That's this. That's a lot. Oh, Are you it's really? starting to wear off a little bit, though. Ooh, you want something? No. <laughs> 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 I feel like this is probably put me over. I feel it. <laughs> I can be, I'm already... You're already second-guessing. No. You don't have to do it. Cheers. You don't... Oh, <laughs> yeah. all right. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the cracker helps. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> I don't know. Keep breathing. <laughs> we both have good poker faces, I guess. <laughs> We're like in pain, but like, you know. <laughs> don't let it show. Yeah, it's like the both just like, yeah. You're not going to Gordon Ramsay it? Yeah. I think the cracker helped reset a bit. But have some cheese. No, I'm good. If, um, I don't need it yet. But it was a slow burn last yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and no, no liquids either yet. So it's not a bad challenge. No, it's a good challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well done, guys. Hey. <laughs> I beat him. I beat him. I'm scared. Yeah, he took a drink first. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's just still there. It's about to be hot milk. <laughs> 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 
Now it's on my lips. <laughs> you are not kissing me for the next like five days. Yes. <laughs> All right, another one. <laughs> <laughs>